What's up YouTube, PJ back with another video for y'all and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I got some good feedback last time on the Talking Head video, well it wasn't like a good discussion topic that I wanted to talk about, but we're not going to talk about that. We're about to go ahead and jump into today's video and for those of y'all who can't see already, I'm wearing a 3M bucket hat, so bear with me. I know it's probably a little shiny because I have the light behind the camera, but we're going to work through this and we have quite a list of things to go over in today's video. I do have my phone right here. If you see me looking down at it, it's because I have a list of what I want to talk about. But we're just about to go ahead and jump into this video and it's going to be a random 50 facts that y'all don't know about PJ. And jumping right into fact number one, like I said, my name is PJ, but that is not my government name. Y'all need to know my full government name, but my name is actually not PJ. And it's Willie Morrison Jr. I'm named after my pops. I don't know why they once named me Willie, but fun fact about that, my mom actually told me that if it wasn't Willie, it was gonna be Gavin. I don't know which one I choose for that, but we starting off early. Let me know in the comment section which one y'all would prefer to be Willie or Gavin. Random fact number two, I am 25 years old. I started my YouTube journey back in 2017, which made me 22. No, I was 21. It was before my birthday. I was 21. I'm 25 years old. And my sister is a year ahead of me or a year older than me, but not exactly a year. She's like 26, but she's actually 353 days older than me. So it's not a full year. Random fact number three, my favorite color is red. And I will never forget how that started off. We were actually at my grandmother's house, me and all my cousins, and we were watching Power Rangers. And we were all like, oh, what Power Ranger do you want to be? And I chose the red one, the leader of the pack. I think his name was Tommy back then. I don't know, if you're a Power Rangers fan, you know what I'm talking about, but I was the red ranger, so since then, I just like the color red. On to random fact number four. For those of y'all who have not been watching my channel, if you aren't subscribed, you might as well go ahead and subscribe. I am a car guy at heart. I started this probably like, ooh, about six years ago? Six-ish years ago. And uh, yeah, that's one of my passions in life right now is I'm a car guy. Random fact number five, I have a Siberian Husky right outside. He has his own little house type deal. But his name is Bruce. And I've always wanted a Siberian Husky ever since the movie Snow Dogs, which is pretty much like how everybody found out about Siberian Huskies and whatnot, around my age anyways. But I always wanted to get one, so I got one. His name is Bruce. Number six on the list is I would like to make a career or a semi-career out of what I do on YouTube. I want this to lead into me owning my own businesses and those type of deals. So uh, the only thing I regret about that is I did not start earlier. Number seven, I hate clocking in on somebody else's clock. One, because I'm pretty lazy to be honest with you. And two, I don't like being told what to do. So those two things don't mix with being an employee. Sorry, but not sorry. Number eight, I don't smoke, I don't drink. Fair enough. Nine, I like to move to either California or Texas. And actually in the near future, I am making plans to move to Texas. One day I might own some property or like some piece of housing out in California that I'll be able to go out there from time to time just because I like the weather out there but not so much the laws with the cars and vehicles and emissions and all that type of stuff so Texas may be where I end up in. And number 10, I have a PS4, I play PS4. I'm pretty good at what I play on PS4. Like Call of Duty, that's one of my mains. I used to play NBA 2K uh, but I kind of Got away from there a little bit. GTA, Apex, uh, I don't really like Warzone, so don't get at me about the Warzone. And number 11, I did start off college at ULL, University of Louisiana at Lafayette, for computer science. Uh, I left there after my first two semesters, went to Southern University, did not like Southern. I'm not a big fan of Southern. I don't know why, it just seems like, it seems less of a college to me and more of like going to school with your friends. And I don't know, I just wasn't attracted to the crowd that was there. Number 12, my biggest pet peeve, like biggest, is one of the things that I hate the most. And I hate whenever people lie. Like even if it's a little small white lie to a big lie, like reoccurring lies that snowball and turn into this big pool of lies that 
they shouldn't have even done in the first place. 13, um, it doesn't happen all the time, but frequently, like, it does happen where I have anxiety on, like, long car rides. Like, even if it's something, like, as simple as going over a bridge or something like that, I'm just like, oh my god, like, why did I put myself in this predicament? Or if I eat before, like, going on the highway, I'm like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Or, I don't know, it's just something like that. And I know with me being a car guy, I shouldn't feel like that because that is part of my passion, is to drive the cars. But I just be like, I just, I'm just, i just like that sometimes. Sometimes I end up, like, trying to take some ant, what is it, antacid tablets? Or something like that, like Tums or uh, some other type of form to calm my stomach down or like to not give me a headache or something like that whenever I'm about to drive. And that ends up helping out with that a little bit. And number 14, y'all probably gonna talk about me for this. But when I was younger, like in first or second grade, I took swimming lessons, but I still can't swim. So like, I'm not even tripping about that. I don't even, I don't ever see myself going somewhere where I'm gonna need to know how to swim. If I, like I could do a little, you know, doggy paddle and whatnot, but I'm not Michael Phelps in the, in the ocean or in a swimming pool or anything like that. So don't look at me if you jump into the pool, catch a cramp and want somebody to save you. I'm just gonna try to get somebody to come save you. I'm not jumping in. Number 15, I wanna own a lot of cars, but my dream car is the Audi R8. The 2014 V10 Plus manual, to be exact. 16, I used to play baseball. I was a star at baseball. If you don't believe me, I'll put on the screen right now the letter that I got sent whenever I graduated high school with baseball, but I'm gonna just leave it at that. Number 17, I like to look at myself as an optimistic person, though it can come off as me being naive sometimes, because it's like I don't understand what reality is, even though I am a realist and I look at what's actually going on, but it's kind of like a uh, hope for the best, prepare for the worst type deal. And I know everybody has to die like some kind of way, someday uh, from this earth. But me, I have this huge fear of dying slowly. Like if I'm gonna die, I just wanna die. Like I don't wanna drown. I don't wanna get set on fire. I don't wanna suffocate. I don't wanna do any of those things. Like if I'm gonna die, just let me die. Number 19, I'm very competitive by nature. I do not like to lose at anything I do, even if it's something I know I'm not good at. But if I slightly care about it in any way, shape, or form, I'm gonna try to win. Like, I'm just, I feel like I'm a winner and not a loser. And what goes along with that is, I'm a man of my word. I try my hardest not to make any lies. I try my hardest not to steer somebody in the wrong direction. I try my hardest to be the most trustworthy person that I can be. And that's just how I live my life. 21, for all the people that don't know me and all the people that do know me, y'all still don't know. But like secretly, like secretly, way down in the deep crevices of my heart, I want to get a tattoo one day. I do. And I've been thinking about getting one like on my arm or on my back or like on one of my pecs. But just, that's whenever I get out of the gym. I, you, I used to live, I wanted to get big and all that kind of stuff. But one day I will do it whenever I get my own place and that kind of stuff. But I want like some type of animal, like whatever I feel at the time is my spirit animal. I think that's what I want. I'd like to get into real estate. Like a lot of people say that, but I don't think they're actually like really passionate or true to themselves about it. But I would like to get into real estate like and rent out some type of property or some type of venue, something like that. Not as like my main job or whatever, but I do want that to be some kind of passive income that I get over the years. My favorite quote that I live by right now, and I've heard this like a couple years ago and I've been sticking to it every day and trying to live by that is, uh, if you don't build your own dream, someone else will hire you to help them build theirs. And I strongly agree with that. And like I said, I don't wanna like clock in on everybody's clock for the rest of my life. So therefore, I find out what I'm passionate about and trying to make money doing what I'm passionate about. Number 24, I have never been to an NBA game. Number 25, I don't wear lotion. I don't wear like hand creams, any kind of creams or ointments. And I try not to put like, what do you call it? Like any kind of lotion or body wash or those type of things. I try not to put that on my skin. I don't know why, I just, I'm not a big fan of it. I do wear deodorant though, so don't get me wrong. I cannot stand walking barefoot. I have to have at least socks on 
And when I have socks on, I would like to have some slippers on too. Number 27. I actually have never left out of the South from Texas to Florida. I've been in all the states throughout the South. So, uh, yeah, I just never left out of the South. Haven't gone North, haven't gone to the East, to the West, unless Florida is the East, but it's the South. For all of y'all who love Starbucks, I like it too. But I would have to say that McDonald's Frappe is still better than Starbucks. Anything on Starbucks menu. 29 is real to me. It's real to me. Like, it's real to me. I fear vomiting. The last time I threw up had to be December 21st, 2005. How do I know that? Because that, that, I told you, like, it's real to me. Number 30, I still have my wisdom teeth. Number 31, my dad told me way back when I was younger, and it's lasted for, like, probably almost a decade, if not a decade. He told me that Tiger Woods was my uncle. So I went around telling everybody that Tiger Woods was my uncle. Didn't think about the family tree or anything. That was just my uncle. Number 32, I would love to reach this huge milestone. And that's to reach 100,000 subscribers on YouTube and get that silver play button. I would love to get the gold play button at a million subscribers, but we're not going to get too greedy right now. I just want the silver play button. And that will be life. 33, for all my anime fans out there. I'm one too. I frequently watch anime. And as of now, it's so cliche, but my favorite anime is still to this day Naruto. I have a list of them that I watch, and they're not all the ones that you see on TV, like Dragon Ball Z, Inuyasha, all that kind of stuff. But I do have a list of anime. So let me know in the comment section. Yeah, hey, yeah, let me know, y'all anime people. What's your favorite anime down in the comment section below? And I'm gonna look at that, and I'm gonna either shake my head, or I'm gonna salute to you. Number 34. The very first time I asked Kiera out, she told me no. Turn me down. Flat out said no. And actually, I never asked her out again. I don't know how we got together. I don't know when we got together. It's just like a mutual agreement that we were together. So, I mean, are we officially together? Number 35, and I still remember the pony. My very first car was a Pontiac Grand Prix. GT wasn't a base model. It was 3.8 V6. I never had a V6 smaller than a 3.8. Had the Pontiac, had the first Genesis, had the second Genesis. Who do I believe are the dumbest cartoon characters in order? The top three dumbest out of all cartoons? Well, I mean, you can't include Family Guy and uh, Futurama. Well, I don't know, you can't even include Futurama. But not Family Guy because there are too many different segments, but like Robot Chicken, that kind of stuff. Uh, the people are. It's like they change from smart to dumb. But these three, these three, I got Billy. Billy is for sure number one. He's dumb. He's just dumb. The epitome of dumb. Billy from Billy and Mandy. Then you got Ed. I put Ed above the third one too. Y'all gonna disagree with me. But Ed is dumb from Ed, Ed and Eddie. He's just dumb. And then you got Patrick from SpongeBob. If you disagree with that list, I don't know what to tell you. Them, obviously those are the three dumbest, but like as far as the order, y'all decide what the order is. That's my order though. Billy the dumbest, then Ed, then Patrick. Number 37, I personally search for reasoning and purpose in everything. Even the smallest of things, like you have to make sense. You have to have some type of reason for doing something or thinking a certain way or acting a certain way and you must do it with a purpose. That's that's what I think. Number 38, y'all gonna take this the wrong way, but don't take it the wrong way. I'm an emotional dude. I just try my hardest not to show it. And being emotional doesn't really mean that you cry all the time or something like that. I think it means, and I really truly believe that it means you are just, you just show or you feel intact with your emotions. Like whether it be mad, sad, happy, like, I really feel those things a lot, and I feel like I feel those things a lot more than some other people. But, I mean, that's one thing I come to realize that I'm an emotional dude. Number 39, y'all probably won't believe me, but when I was in first grade, Miss Miller's class, I would have this notebook. It was red. I won't forget it. It was a red spiral notebook or whatever the thing is held on by the metal spiral thing. Every recess, I would sit at a desk and just write numbers. It started out as a punishment. Like one day she just gave me a punishment to write numbers. And I was like, you know what? I kind of like this. I want to see how far I can get. 
And to this day, I don't remember the exact number, but I do remember I got to over 10,000 in first grade. Y'all probably don't believe me, like I said, but I can guarantee it's true. Number 40, I don't keep up with politics or current events, so if you have any questions, comments, concerns about that, don't come to me. 41, I've never flown, as in been on a real, actual airline, like a plane. Yes, a plane. I actually won two senior rewards. I won Never On Time, because Never On Time, and I won Best Lab. I don't remember how my lab was, my lab has changed a few times during my life, but I don't actually remember my lab. But obviously, people just said I had the best lab, so. Number 43, my grandparents called me June. It's just my grandparents on my dad's side. And I'm sorry for everybody who doesn't have their grandparents, but I still have both sets of mine. I didn't mean to come off as arrogant or anything by saying that. Even though I don't think any of y'all took that as me being arrogant. But my grandparents on my dad's side called me June. And what's crazy is I have another little cousin, His name, they call him AJ. Like, why don't they just call me PJ? They won't call me June, short for junior. I guess because I'm the third oldest over there and I was the first junior, so. I don't know. 44. I'm sure y'all can agree with this. I hate cliche advice. Like, if you're gonna give me advice, don't just tell me, oh, you gotta work harder, or, oh, stay in school, you'll get to where you're getting. No, if I ask you advice on, especially what, like, what did you do to get where you are? I need you to tell me, like, verbatim, what did you do? Like, don't tell me I had to work hard and stay up all night just to get where I'm at. No, I need you to tell me, okay, like, this is what happened whenever I was this age, and this is what brought me to this, and this, like, tell me that kind of thing, your journey, or something like that. But, yeah, I just, I hate cliche advice. And for me, it's very hard to let somebody... Unless I just don't want to talk to somebody. Like, if it's somebody that I don't want to talk to at all, but it's very hard for me to just let somebody be wrong. If I hear wrong information or information that doesn't make sense, it's like I, get, I just got to say something that's going to eat me up on the inside. I'd rather play golf or tennis than football or basketball. I mean, I just feel like the sports, like, they're all fun. I mean, obviously, sports are fun. But I think I'd like golf or tennis more just because... I feel like that, I don't know, I guess it's because you don't really have to have a team. And so, I can just show my dominance. Especially with Top Golf being a big thing now, like, I'm a beast at Top Golf, so get at me. Y'all probably hate people like me, but sometimes I say, huh? Or, what'd you say? Or, like, I didn't hear you, just because I feel like it. <laughs> I'm actually not a big fan of ceremonies, rituals, or big parties. Like, I don't need to have that in my life to, in order to have fun. Number 49. Nostalgia hits me hard. When I tell you hard, it like hard. Like I loved my childhood. I loved everything that got me to the point where I am today. And if I could relive it, I would really relive that like a couple times. And for me to feel the way that I do about that, I know I've, I've gone through my fair share of bad things, by the way, like tragedies and those type of things. But I just feel like the good things were so good. And that gets to my heart and my soul whenever I think about that. And before I get on with this last thing, if you stayed this long, please give this video a thumbs up. You obviously like it. You like hearing random facts about me or even if it's just anybody. But this video, it made you stay this long. So give it a thumbs up. Share it with somebody. Let them see uh, just some random things about this up and coming YouTuber named PJ Morrison, a.k.a. Willie Morrison. Let them enjoy the video like you did. But, on to number 50. My goals. My goals in life. Like, these are my main goals. Like, if I don't do these, or if I do these, I'll be very satisfied with myself. And one is to retire from YouTube. Like I said, I would want this to be a career for me, but I would want it to be a short career because it was so successful. And as of now, I don't know, I just need to put in the work and get it done. But I would want to retire from YouTube. I would want to own my own sports car component manufacturing business, such as be a brand like Braum or Megan Racing, something like that. Like I want to be my own brand and I want to make components to race cars or to race inspired cars like seats, steering wheels, uh, even get up to suspension parts and possibly make some wheels or something. Something like that. And I would also want to turn my merch that should be coming sometime this year, like soon actually, 
I want to turn that into an actual clothing brand. So those are my three goals that I want like in my life. And those are going to lead to other things that I want, but those are the three main goals, like the foundation to everything, achieving everything that I want. So with that being said, that was all 50 random facts about PJ. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about anything, or just want to comment on one of the random facts about me, like what you have in common, what you don't have in common, then I would greatly like to read that in the comments section. So leave your comments down below and leave a thumbs up on this video if you like the video. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel, you might want to go ahead and do so because I do post a lot of fire content. And you can check that out on my channel if you haven't. But I'm gonna just leave it right there and I'm gonna end this video right here. I just wanna thank everybody for coming out watching the video. This was a different style of video than what I'm used to posting. I usually post automotive vlogs if you haven't looked at my channel already, but if you have, then you notice that this is kind of different. And I got some good feedback on my last Talking Head video and I was like, you know what? I can incorporate that in my life. I can incorporate that in my channel. So here it is, Talking Head PJ. But I'm going to end the video right here. And I appreciate everybody for coming out watching. And always remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more. And I thank you all for watching.